we have already seen the significance of sinusoid now let us try to understand the significance of phasor okay why we are going to represent everything in a phasor okay because one thing i'll tell you mathematically the analysis will become so easy even compared to laplace transformer differential equations that's why we are going with phasor okay i don't know like why others are not dealing this way but mathematical analysis is going to be so easy with phasor for example let me take a small example that is one resistance inductance and voltage is like this okay so this is going to be v now let me think of v equal to v maximum sin omega t and this is resistance this is inductance okay now let me think of current is flowing this way okay now means if i write one kvl equation for this that is going to be ri plus l di by dt equal to v maximum sin omega t sin omega t okay now we are supposed to solve this by differential equation even though it is first order differential equation because only one energy element is there okay but by differential equation getting directly current value in time domain is difficult okay now let us convert this into laplace transform because means differential equation normally it will be easy if you convert that into laplace transform okay so if i convert that into laplace transform r into i of s plus l s into i of s equal to v maximum for sin omega t laplace transform is going to be omega by s square plus omega square okay now means if i think of i of s equal to r plus l s is going to be common so v maximum into omega by s square plus omega square into 1 by r plus l s now you have to do inverse laplace transform for this okay so inverse laplace transform you have to do it in order to get i of t value in time domain okay how much difficult it is how much difficult it is for example for example if you have a small constant small constant that is omega t plus pi okay my source voltage value here is going to be omega t plus pi okay then how much difficulty difficulty level how it is going to be increased let us see for example under that conditions under that condition again r into i plus l di by dt equal to v maximum sin omega t plus pi okay now let us use uh, laplace transform for example if you go with laplace transform r into i of s plus l s into i of s equal to okay first of all you have to convert this you have to convert this into sin a plus b form okay so this is going to be v maximum into sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so sin omega t cos pi okay plus plus cos omega t sin pi okay if you understand this way then we are going to own the phasor okay so we have to own the phasor now for this is going to be v maximum cos pi is going to be constant for sin it is going to be omega by s square plus omega square plus v maximum same common is going to be sin pi is going to be constant and for cos omega t is going to be s by s square plus omega square okay now if you try to do i of s i of s equal to whatever we have here whatever we have here everything everything should come okay whatever we have here everything will come everything will come okay whatever we have here everything will come here okay on top of that on top of that r plus ls 1 by r plus ls okay now you have to do inverse laplace transform for this such a big equation okay now rather than that rather than that if i can convert for example let me take the same network whatever we have taken okay so in this network of course how we are going to get and all in the subsequent uh, classes we will see now just we are going to convert this into r only and this is going to be j omega l j omega l now directly we can write i of t okay directly we can write i of t equal to v maximum by r square plus omega l square 
under root magnitude of impedance into sin omega t plus pi even if i take pi plus pi also minus theta okay now that theta value is going to be tan inverse of omega l by r okay so we need not do inverse laplace transformer such a big thing a difficult thing we need not do once you convert this okay for example v value is given as v max sin omega t plus pi okay so we are going to convert this into v max at an angle pi at an angle pi then we are going to do in phasor form so one thing we have to understand here clearly why we are going from what do you say time domain to phasor phasor you need not do such a lengthy lengthy things such a lengthy lengthy things for example if i have omega t it's fine if i have 3 omega t 3 omega t again it will become 3 omega everything is going to be same okay so in a very simple way very simple way we are going to find solutions solutions even if you think of for example if i have one more energy element capacitance under that conditions it will become second order differential equation for second order differential equation if i have pi here means if you think of differential equation directly getting solution or if you think of converting into laplace transform how difficult it is how difficult it is so basically phasors are going to simplify our mathematical analysis a lot okay now in this session we won't we won't phasor okay now let us uh, start analyzing how we are going to represent the phasor diagram and all